So um, I was thinking, you know, if you're a student finishing university or school or something, college, and you're working out what to be, how you're going to survive in this dystopian post-Brexit Britain that we inhabit, um, it's a tough, you know, tough choices. I mean, a lot of people like to go into public service and try and help people. I think people generally like to help people. There's, you know, I mean, the government rely on the goodwill of people and the fact that people want to help. Um, and then there are other people who become bankers and hedge fund people and they um, don't want to go into public service. Um, and that's the way it is. But I'm just thinking, if you want to go into public service, I mean, there's no reason why you can't do a bit of hedge funding first. Because, uh, you know, later on, when you're working long hours and you're not really getting as paid as much as a banker and you're just in the shit the whole time, uh, being, you know, struggling with bills, struggling with rented accommodations, just struggling, trying to bring up a family, and you're looking at a banker, you, you know, you want to give back, and you love your job, but you just wish you had a bit more. So what I'm thinking is you should become a hedge funder first for about 10 minutes, and you'll earn so much money that you don't have to worry, you know, when you're a nurse or a teacher, you have, to, you have so much money in your bank account from shorting the pound that it's not really necessary to worry about your bills and you'll be a much more, you know, happy nurse or happy teacher because you can afford to have a family and not worry about the, the cost. I'm not saying that you're not going to miss out on the clapping every time there's a pandemic and you feel, like, much better because people like you. Everyone likes to be liked and getting a clap. And as I say, bankers don't get clapped, but they don't seem to be too bothered by that. And uh, I just think, you, you know, the, the economic cycle will mean that in this case, property prices will crash. And at that point, with your big deposit in your bank, you can buy cheap and then have a family. Um, it just makes more sense, really, because the government uh, sort of get donations from hedge funds and get taken out by hedge funders and the banks taken to hospitality and sit in a box somewhere and they discuss, you know, economic policies and then the latest ideology is to um, borrow like crazy and uh, lower taxes for everyone, especially the rich, and get rid of bankers' bonuses and promote growth. And that really, I mean, you know, the bank has got no choice except to short the pound because it's such a crazy policy. And everyone around the world is going to short the pound. And then the banks, then the, basically the government will then have to get the Bank of England to raise interest rates and effectively bankrupt Britain, UK, PLC. So if you're a nurse, you're not going to get a pay rise. That's the long and the short of it, because you're way further down, because you're not in the box discussing these things at the hospitality venue. So it's a bit of a tricky one. And I, I would say, if you can, if you're good at maths, become a banker first, then become a teacher. And you can be a bloody good teacher, because you haven't got to worry about how you're paying your next bill. Cheers.